Hi guys, welcome, welcome back, back to my, my channel. channel. I'm, I'm going, going to, try to try to do this intro very, very fast because it is rush hour in my building for some reason and I've been trying to record this intro for 20 minutes and every time somebody comes and interrupts. So, yes. Welcome back. We are back on Ziscape. And I am very, very, very excited and happy to be doing this video. Thank you guys for blowing up my five drills video. I literally did not think that it would get that many views. And so many of you are messaging me on Instagram, reposting my video. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I've actually been thinking about what else I could do because I'm also still learning, so I can only teach you what I know. So I've been thinking about maybe doing Instagram lives where we do kind of like a study skating together, skate together, learn together, and then you guys could like learn with me what I'm currently trying to learn. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. I've never done an Instagram live before, so that'd be new for me, but if there's interest, then I'm willing to try. So I asked you guys on my poll what you would like me to make videos about and an overwhelming amount of you said that you would like to learn how to turn. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys three ways that I like to turn. There are many ways, but as I said, I'm a beginner, still learning. I only know <laughs> these three very well. Oh, and uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, click that bell button so you're up to date every new video that I post. Turn number one piggybacks right off of my five drills video with your heel skating. So you're going to need to master that heel skating so you could use it to turn. Now I'm very dominantly right, so my left is not as good as my right. But basically what I'm doing is I'm skating on one heel, turn into a sumo squat, and placing the other foot back. So what you need to master is your sumo stretch. You, know, you need to be able to be like a sumo wrestler. Some people can actually skate like this. I'm not that far yet. But if you're able to do this, it is beneficial for your turn. So this is a good exercise. You know, it's like, you gotta go to the toilet. Oh no, I don't. Go to the toilet. Oh no, I don't. Or, like most of you liked, it's the chicken laying an egg, but the chicken has its legs wide open. So, you could start by placing your legs like this, like in ballet, and then go down. This is basically a movement, but you only hold it for a split second, really. Try not to want to place your leg in that position. It naturally will come in that position if you just keep your foot turned. Right? So this is basically the movement. You're skating forward. I stick this one out, pose, my pose position. If you don't know what this is, watch my five drills video. And then you turn this one foot. And this leg continues going. And then I'm in a sumo position. So I'm in a sumo position. And then I lift this left for me, left leg. I also go into a heel skating position while my weight if you can see i'm kind of like lopsided because my weight is fully on this leg i could actually lift this leg up right so i'm in sumo position weight towards the foot that you started with weight is fully on it then i pivot bring it back together And why I love this one is because I could keep the same speed while doing this turn. I still keep going. So what's really important in this is if you are unstable, especially in the beginning, go low. The lower you are, the more stable you are in skating. So go low. When I'm doing it in my left foot, I tend to actually go lower because I know I'm more unstable. And that is basically how you do your so heel turn. So 
now it's time for turn number two. So this one I call the open door, closed door. That's how I learned it. So it requires the same movement, but a different beginning. So let me do it from the side so I can show it to you properly. Imagine you are a door. This is you being a door, right? Stand like this. I know it looks silly, but it will help you. So you are skating this way, but you want to be skating that way, but backwards, right? So in order to transition, you're going to open a door and close the door. So there's an easy way to remember this, right? Your mother always taught you never to open a door without looking at who's at the door, right? So in order to do this move, you first look who's at the door. Somebody's knocking. You slightly open the door when you see it's somebody semi-familiar. That's your shoulder in an open position, right? So your shoulder is opening. You already looked. Then you open the door because, hey, that's your friend. You're in your sumo squat position, you're low, so you're balanced. You let your friend in, you lift your other foot, and you close the door. I'm in my skating stance. My abs are tight under the layer of comfiness. My abs are tight. Open my shoulder. I open a door. Let the person in, sumo squat. Close the door. And then I'm skating backwards. In essence, you're doing the exact same move as this one, but where you try to keep connected to the floor in this turn, so that you feel more secure, you're actually stepping in the second turn. So you briefly are skating on one foot twice, right? So different angle. Now, after you have this down, you can take away the arms because they look silly. Unless you know something really cool to do, then if you do, send it to me on Instagram. But once you're secure in your move, you can do it without the arms. Now, for this, you need to be able to balance on one leg at least because for that slight split second, you are going to be on one foot, one leg. And you need to know how to shift your weight so your weight is on that leg so you are stable. And that is the open door, closed door turn. Final turn, I needed a bit more space because this one requires jumping. Um, before trying to, to jump and turn, I would advise you to first learn how to jump, right? When you're jumping on skates, you need to go low and jump from your knees and land low because this is what's keeping you stable. If you jump like this, <laughs> the chances are that you might fall very, very hard and you might fall backwards because your weight automatically shifts backward. So the drill that I would give you for this one is to jump in place first, place one foot forward, one foot back, jump and land. It's basically your skating stance, but lower, abs are tight, and then you push off from basically your heels and knees. Push off. Now a very important point is that you never look at the floor. Don't look at the ground because where you look at it's where is where you're going to go. So if you're looking at the ground, your weight is way too much forwards and you will fall forward. Right? So you have to keep your weight centered and you have to look in front of you. So once you have your jump in place down, and I mean that you can execute it fairly well about 80% of the time, then you need to start doing it moving. And we're still going forward, right? We're not at the turning point yet because you have to get your jump and your moving jump correctly before you start turning. Now it's time for the interesting part. Now we're going to talk about turning. <laughs> and turning is a very mental thing. Now in turning, you have to get over your fear because if you have fear, you're going to do it half-assed, halfway, and that is what's going to make you fall. You have to commit to the jump once you decide to do it. So when jumping and turning, you want to land on your dominant leg because that's where you are most secure. So my dominant leg is in the back and my weight 
is on my front leg which is my non-dominant one my left leg i'm going to use that same motion that same jump from your heels and your knees motion while combining it with the door open from the first one so my shoulder is open and my head is open to open my hips and <laughs> jump and i don't put my legs too much together because i'm less stable i try to put them slightly apart this is about the width that i have apart so i go down jump go down jump am i going to be brave and try it on the other leg yes am i going to regret it i might so basically the side that you want to turn to that leg is in the back so i want to turn left so my left leg is in the back i open slightly jump and i land with my weight on that leg that was in the back so in this case my left leg when you have this right when you're good at this you don't have to excessively look over your shoulder before you jump you kind of use your momentum to jump but the difficulty or the well the danger of doing this when you're a beginner and not looking is that you might overturn you might have put too much momentum and then you end up jumping like this and falling so in order to you know be safe do your looking and opening your shoulder and pelvis first we're trying to be safe here we're not trying to kill ourselves okay so use your safety look at where you're going somebody's knocking who are you oh it's you come in close now to get to the exciting part the actual jumping while moving while i'm skating forward i try to already get into that stance my dominant leg is backwards and then i jump and i continue right so skating forward put my dominant leg in the back put my weight in front jump okay guys so those were my three turns that i like to do most i am exhausted i also went ahead and did some drills on my dribble and my pendulum dribbles which always hurts my feet and I'm almost there, I'm almost there, but still needs perfecting. But yeah, I am exhausted, I'm sweaty, I need a shower and food. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and log off. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments, like the video, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and family. And if you're interested in doing some Instagram live sessions with me, then let me know down in the comments also. It's always fun to skate with others. And I have a few things I'm working on right now. So you're welcome to join. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.